Central Bureau of Investigation. Okay. Why we are discussing or what is the news is recently Tamil Nadu government has announced that it has withdrawn the general concern given to the CBI. I under section 6 of 6 of Delhi Special Police Act, Establishment Act of 1946 okay so uh, here we are we know that CBI is formed from the special act of Delhi uh, Special Police Establishment Act of 1946 so recently Tamil Nadu government announced that they will uh, withdraw the consent or uh, support given to the uh, CBI. Okay. Other states have all also uh, withdrawn their support earlier. They are Mysoram, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, Kerala, Jharkhand, Punjab, and Meghalaya. So this means that Tamil Nadu is not the first state to withdraw the consent. Other states have already done that. Okay. So what is important for us is first to know that it is not the first time the states are withdrawing the consent. That's the first thing. The next thing is to know about the body of CBI. Okay. So, as you know that it is an investigating agency. It is the prime investigating agency in the country. So, it is the premier investigating agency in the country. Okay. So, it's it operates under the jurisdiction of Ministry of Personal, Public Grievance and Pension. Okay. So, under which ministry? It is not under the Ministry of Home in his Home or not under the Ministry of Defense. It is under the Ministry of Personal, Public Grievance and Pensions. Okay. Since it is an investigating agency, we will be having a mess. It may be under the purview of Ministry of Home, but it is not like that. It is under the Ministry of Personal, Public Grievance and Pensions. Okay. Now, regarding its legality, it draws its functional support or it uh, draws its legality from 1946 Delhi Special Police Establishment Act. Okay. Now, before 1946, there was an uh, act known as Special Police Ex Establishment Act. From that, CBI was uh, formed. Okay. Now, they are uh, the special police establishment act mainly deals with corruption okay that is the precursor or the first form of cbi from which later it evolved into the current state then in 1963 as we know it was formed against corruption right later home minister expanded its uh, purview and now uh, and it changed it also changed the name to cbi initially the name was not like cbi i said it was the special police establishment later the name changed to cbi by uh, home ministry but it is still under the 1946 act only clear so is it a constitutional body cbi a constitutional body no this is a statutory body because it derives its legality from the delhi special policeman established police establishment act like we said before its first aim was or the formation, the reason behind the formation of CBI was to uh, get uh, investigate against corruption. Later, its functions expanded and also it could investigate its jurisdiction, its jurisdiction extend, 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 expanded such that it can investigate anything related to the which is in the purview of central government of India. Okay. To investigate breaches of central laws enforceable, enforceable by the government of India. Also, to multi-state organized crimes, multi-agency or international cases. Okay. Why multi-agency, multi-state? Because in the state, there is a defense, uh, there is a home mechanism, right? So, when it comes to multi-state crimes, the one which uh, the organization or the investigations agency should also be a central one. Right? right? So, that is the reason why multi-agencies are involved, multi-states are involved or international cases are involved. CBI is having the power to investigate okay now another thing is we said that in the international cases also cbi has a power to investigate right so we have heard about interpol right interpol is a investigating agency similar to cbi but it is in an international arena so cbi is the uh, point or india's officially uh, as an agency which is in connection with the interpol okay now the another thing to be noted is we know regarding right to information act right why what is the importance of right to information act prime importance or prime uh, objective 
uh, which led to the formation of right to information act is to ensure transparency okay to ensure transparency right to information act was enacted okay and it was made stringent that the uh, transparency and through that accountability of the government officials could be maintained but the important thing to be noted is cbi is exempted is not come or it doesn't come under the provision of right to information act okay cbi doesn't come under the right to information act okay now the next thing is regarding the appointment of cbi director okay this appointment of cbi director is dealt by the lokpal act remember we discussed about lokpal last class regarding the corruption cases okay lokpal act so lokpal act is the act which governs the appointment of cbi director okay similarly in the lokpal also and on some other organizations also when we discussed about the appointment of the chairperson or director we discussed about a, a hierarchy of a, a hierarchy in which appointment people are involved like we discussed there will be a search committee then will be a selection committee like that right within uh, which is constituted by pm and a leader of opposition other mem uh, uh, ministers etc council of ministers etc similarly in this one also cbi director is appointed by the sender okay and it is on the recommendation of a search committee and the search committee is comprised to by prime minister as the chairperson chief justice of india and leader of opposition okay here we say that lokpal act is the uh, act which enables the appointment of the cbi director now cbi director is appointed by the sender and i uh, was appointed based on the recommendation of a search committee the search committee has a chairperson who is pm and then other members include chief justice of india and the opposition leader clear okay so this was about cbi cbi was formed under which act or it derives its legality under delhi special police establishment act and when then we discussed that initially its purview was only regarding the corruption later it uh, it expanded to the other breaches to central laws also then we discussed about the appointment of the uh, cbi director then we also talked that it is not under rti and also it is the prime invest uh, contact between uh, contact to the interpol or other investigating uh, investigating agency of international importance okay clear